Conversations with Dr. Brenda, Mondays at 10 a.m. Informative. Insightful. Inspiring. And fun. On this episode of Conversations with Dr. Brenda, a conversation with Jean Perkins. Now here's Dr. Brenda. Oh, hello. Very excited to see each one of you today. Welcome to Conversations with Dr. Brenda Goodell. Wow, wow, wow. Many, many opportunities to talk to people, but I get to talk to someone very special in my life that uh, truly has been an instrumental in helping me with so many areas of my life. And so I'm introducing uh, my cousin, actually, and um, a wonderful uh, woman of God, uh, Jean Perkins, is is our guest today and i am looking forward to this conversation even though i know a whole lot because i've been knowing her uh, my whole married life and even before we got married but um she's a dear uh woman of god and we look forward to this time together i want her to just be relaxed i know we're family but um we got different roads different things that we're uh handling and taking care of so jean welcome thank you so much for the opportunity amen oh my goodness i could just go on and on because i want to ask you about yourself but i know you know of your singing of your serving of your teaching even though you don't do it like like to do a lot of teaching in front of people but your your a relationship with the Lord has opened up so many doors, so many opportunities for you. Mm-hmm. And of course, being a part of Calvary Christian Center all these years, you've been able to use a lot of those different, yes. <laughs> different areas yes. and outside of Calvary. Yes. So I'm going to ask you, you know, uh, tell us something about yourself or, uh, yeah, about yourself. And I want you to take your time, go at every direction you want. Uh, just, you know, a little history. From start to where we are. Okay. 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 Well, mm-hmm. I I am a mom, a mother okay. of two. Okay. And I have uh, grandchildren, and I have a great granddaughter now. Okay. My granddaughter, um, my son's daughter, Kamaria. She's she has a baby, and, and she's married now, okay. which is awesome. So I have a grandson-in-law. Okay. And, <laughs> okay. and so uh, we're kind of growing. My children are a blessing to me, Adrian and Andrea. Mm-hmm. And um, Adrian just recently rededicated his life to the Lord. And it, it's in pro- uh, progress, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. But he rededicated his life and he's mm-hmm. back with the Lord. We went through some things, you know, for some years. And okay. yeah. Who has it? <laughs> Who has it? You know, what a blessing to be able to pour mm-hmm. in. I think about, well, I talked to you a little bit about watching him on the piano at Flossie's house, yes. your mom's house. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, banging on the piano, but he kept banging until, I mean, he he's awesome. He's just yes. writing music. He's doing all kinds yes. of, and playing. So mm-hmm. his gifts are, are flowing through him. And yes. so we're yes. very thankful for that. Yes, and, um, he's very yeah. gifted, and I'm 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 blessed to be his mom, and as well as my daughter Andrea. Mm-hmm. She, has, she has some some health health challenges, but she's overcoming Amen. in Jesus name. In so, Jesus name, yes, yes. Amen. So she's coming along as well. So I'm yeah, very well for her as well. She's a right. Woman. She's a bright woman too, and yes. she's jumping in some new ventures, and we're yes. really excited yes. about helping her get exactly. established in that you know yes. just i'm excited for her too for mm-hmm. her to even want to take that on uh, mm-hmm. for those that don't know she's selling mary Kay now so she's mm-hmm. uh, very excited about it and i'm trying to help her as well mm-hmm. um, so mm-hmm. she's she's doing good she has a, a son isaiah he's away mm-hmm. at college wow yeah. mm-hmm. that, that in itself is just amazing to me to have a grandchildren <laughs> one of them <laughs> right I know, I know. Yeah, so we we're we're, we're blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed yeah. to have them, my children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you jump right in there with the children, and I was asked, you know, 
uh, about yourself. I see you were born yes. recently in in, yes. in I was born here in Sacramento, California. Okay. Sacramento County Hospital it was. Now it's UC Davis. Um, I, I'm um, the second of four children. My mom has. I have two two brothers and one sister mm-hmm. here. They're all alive and and. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We're doing well. Mm-hmm. And my mom is, you know, she raised us as a single mom. Mm-hmm. She did a fantastic job, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, she raised us well, it wasn't uh, uh, easy coming up where we came. We re- were raised in Del Paso Heights. I, you've heard stories of pastor talking about Del Paso Heights and how we, we all came along the same way, pretty much, you know. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, I didn't, we didn't realize that we were poor. <laughs> Right, right. Everybody else was like in the same boat, you know. Right, so, right. Well, you I know, was, with his conversations, you know, he always wants to say that I was poorer than he was, you know, yeah, you know right. coming up because you know we moved a lot and different things yeah. on that line. But we, you know, like you said, we didn't know we were poor. You know, no. we had family. We grew up with with uh, you know love and, and mm-hmm. around us exactly. and exactly. You know, and uh, in Our church parents. and. Right, been raised on that line, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, yep. I, oh, that, that's a blessing. You know, right here, mm-hmm. I I read some of the um, stories. I think I forgot who put that book out. There was a book that really told the history of Del Paso Heights mm-hmm. and how yes. it used to be when you know when you when you were a little girl or if you weren't even born yet, where mm-hmm. you know how uh, Del Paso Heights was a whole different. You remember reading any of that? Did you hear yes, some of the stories? Yes, yes, I mean, and having grown up there, just having it, it, we we were like self-contained in Del Paso Heights. We had our churches, we had our grocery stores, gas stations, we had a black farm pharmacy that was black owned, pretty much. We had a black physician in the Del Paso Heights area that we all pretty much went to um, locally. And of course, if you had to go to the hospital, you went to Sac County Hospital. And then our state hospital, which we purchased uh, some years later, but Mm -hmm. we went there as well. But it was was pretty much contained and everything, everything you needed was in Del Paso Heights. And it's amazing now now to look at it and see how. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, we believe because we're still there as a church, you know, Mm -hmm. we would still have some kind of influence in the area. But just for others to hear those coming up behind us. Mm-hmm. Hearing, you know, just how it was, it's so much has changed, so you know, all, so all over. Exactly. Yeah. And my mom, you know, raised us, you know, in church and mm-hmm. she put the fear of God in us. So, mm-hmm. you know, in high school, junior high school, high school, it wasn't about, we were afraid to do drugs and mm-hmm. drink alcohol or anything like that. You know, we, I'm not saying we didn't test it a little bit, you know, right, but, right, you know, right. I, um, she instilled that fear in us. And I always had was something in me though. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I know it was God mm-hmm. in the very beginning, you know, just in high school, junior high school, my, my friends, you know, they would smoke weed and do things mm-hmm. like that, but I was afraid to do that. And mm-hmm. so I never smoked weed or did, mm-hmm. you know, drugs or anything mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And I, I aspire to be better. I, mm-hmm. I was determined in my mind, I wasn't gonna get statistics. Statistics, Amen. heights, you know, mm-hmm. be a preteen, pregnant, have a preteen pregnancy, mm-hmm. marital, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. I wanted to, I wanted better for my oh, life. Amen. I graduated from high school. I, I went over to, to Sac State at the time, mm-hmm. Sacramento State University now. Mm-hmm. And back up a little bit because right after I graduated from high school in 1972 is when mm-hmm. Pastor Minister Salvation to me, when he came back from the expo in Texas and he wow. ministered salvation to me. And I was just so, so excited. And I ran, but, you know, again, we were close proximity to each other. Mm-hmm. I He was cutting someone's hair in the garage of his mom's house in ran. <laughs> and I happened to go over there and he just happened to have just come back from Texas and mm-hmm. shared those four spiritual laws with me in my life has not been this day. So I'm, I'm just so eternally grateful that mm-hmm. he shared that with me at that moment, you know. Right. Like, graduating from high school, going mm-hmm. to college. Mm-hmm. And and just, you know, that coupled with what my mom had instilled in me, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I, I wanted more, I wanted more. And then Calvary started and, mm-hmm. and I eventually joined Calvary Christian Center and started mm-hmm. to hear the word mm-hmm. and how the word just impacted my life and changed my life mm-hmm. in so many ways mm-hmm. that 
I'm just, I'm just blessed. I'm just yeah. so thankful for Calvary yeah. that the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's what's so good about it. it. It's God, you know, like you said, yeah. you graduate and the Lord just, I believe the seeds that your mom planted in you yes. and in the yes. church, you know, mm -hmm. made you more open because when he, you know, he got excited and, and pastor, you know, wasn't pastor at the time. Of course he was Phil. Uh, when he, your cousin Phil ministered to you in the garage there, you know, he was, you know, yeah. he was excited and he wanted to share it with you and your heart was open. I mean, how many people, Gene, do we yeah. talk to that still aren't quite ready to say yes? You know, some people run from right. it. You know, it's like, leave me alone right. when I get it's ready so for, right. for this Jesus stuff or talk about God right. or church, you know, I'll let you know, but leave me alone. But you were open and I just yeah. love that. Yes. And, yeah. uh, how, you know, you, you heard it and it works for you. You know, it, it worked for us and you know mm -hmm. something that we share we're excited about it you know i know when you guys met me you know i was that little homely girl that uh you know <laughs> you're beautiful you were beautiful, <laughs> yeah. beautiful. I heard those guys talking about yeah but you were always so so beautiful and so sweet no. it's just i was just I'm, when i first met you i was i think i was 18 17 or 18 years old mm -hmm. when i met you and i was just awestruck. I mean, even then there was something, a spirit about you wow. so sweet and so beautiful, you know, wow. that I knew that connection was that you were different from any other person that I knew that pastor had wow. dated. Okay. And we can see the results of that right now in you know, 50 yeah. years of marriage. Okay. Right. That's right. Very clear. But, it's, enough. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's the Lord, you know, and we, we want it, you know, to share it, you know, I'm, talking to him and he's kind of got his questions and he was like, but again, it was God. When I go back to how God prepared your heart yes. and how God prepared his heart, even to go, you know, uh, from what he was dealing with as far as his, you know, family and, you know, some right. of the things that he had dealt with, but God mm -hmm. got a hold of his heart and he just made all the difference in the yes. world. Yes. And I got a hold of your heart and just made, you know, things that could have been different. I love the fact that, you know, just like, uh, my mom put and my mom and dad basically, basically, um, we had a fear, you yes. know, uh, mm -hmm. we didn't have children out of wedlock, you know, it was like, right. you know, we're not putting anybody down because, yeah, you know, it's, we thank God for, but there was something about the fear of God. And this is what mm -hmm. we want our young people to coming up to hear, you know, hear our stories, how God mm -hmm. did take our lives and change mm -hmm. it. We're not perfect. We never no, claimed it. Right. Perfect, mm -hmm. but we're still working at it, but mm -hmm. look what the Lord has done. I look exactly. at the blessings on your life and I look at, mm -hmm. you know, the favor and, and your yes. tenacity to make things happen, you know? And yes, absolutely. <laughs> Amen. It's only God. You know, I know we can't do those things in and of ourselves. Mm -hmm. so it's only God that can give us this the grace to do what we do. So right. I'm very, very thankful for my life, you know, and I, I, we've, and I've had challenges and I'm not, like you just said, we're not perfect. I wasn't no, perfect. No, Christian, none of us were. You know, early on, um, cause again, when I was, when I received salvation, I was still in the, in the Baptist church and mm -hmm. I was still did, you know, the Baptist ways for a while until mm -hmm. I came into the true knowledge of who Jesus Christ was mm -hmm. and is in my life and the word of God, the word is what changed my life. Right. You know, so, um, mm -hmm. actually, those times our pastor tells the stories about how, but when he received Christ and you guys were married at that time, mm -hmm. okay. and around and, uh, you know, and everybody would hide stuff, you know, and <laughs> right. it, it happened, you know, old Phil's here. You know? <laughs> right. you know, I remember there was a time when he, he talked about that too. And mm -hmm. Nancy Wilson was in town and you guys, he wanted to see, does he not Nancy Wilson, but you know, he, he wanted to, but he didn't want to, and okay. he wouldn't go see her because oh. it was, you know, it was, he felt that she was a secular artist at the time. Okay. So he, you know, he, I never, I'm like, she's so harmless, you know? Okay. But he didn't see that as that because he was completely sold out. And mm -hmm. yeah, and our family at the time didn't quite understand mm -hmm. that. Now yeah. we do after we've been in the word mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. we understand completely. Yeah, he was just trying to be so, you know, sensitive to, you know, the leading of the Lord. And uh, yeah, some things, we know we didn't try to put that, that conviction on everybody else. It's just like, 
what we would do, you know, like he was talking about even our, our wedding, how you, you were in the wedding and so many of the family. And, and we, we were both at that time, you know, in, at the Baptist church and, you know, what a blessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like every step that God took us down, Mm -hmm. you know, to where we are right now. I saw something in the Baptist church that I didn't see in the church of God in Christ, Mm -hmm. you know, it's the hospital hospitality, you know, the caring, you know, for one another, you know, it's, it, it just, it was certain things like any church, there's got some things that we're all working on. So, so I thank God for every step, you know, that, Absolutely. that, that Absolutely. Uh, you know, my path to, to where we mm-hmm. are now, because all of it mm-hmm. stems from the word of God, you know, so they, right. they still, mm-hmm. you know, so yeah, we, we, so when we kind of came along and some of the things that some people felt like, oh, that's okay. Well, our conviction was, no, yeah. you know, you know, like he's doing right now, the mm-hmm. WWJD, you know, what right. would Jesus do, you know? Right. And so, mm-hmm. and some, some people's ideas are different. And again, mm-hmm. it's how you were raised or what, right. what you feel right. is okay, but you got to know the Holy Spirit so he can, you know, he can guide you and tell yeah. you, you know, mm-hmm. that might be okay for them, but I, I'm I'm trying to do something else for you right now. Right. And then in, when they get the revelation of it, then they'll make whatever decisions they need mm-hmm. to make. But we know exactly. the way. So, so uh, you know, we just want to be the examples, you know, while we're here, like you said, mm-hmm. we were here mm-hmm. when the Apostle Heights was this way. And mm-hmm. now we're still here. The Lord has blessed us to still be here because, you know, mm-hmm. just like I do. You know, there's people that are no longer with us. Right, you know, right. That we've grown up with, mm-hmm. uh, but he allowed us to still be here. Yeah. Right mind, like mm-hmm. you said, you was like 18 when I met you, and I was right. like 18. You know, got got a few months on you, right? Just, yeah, yeah, just <laughs> a few. Months, about six months. On you. About six months, right? Something like that. You know, but we we were, you know, we we're young, and and the Lord is blessed. We we. Uh, was it David that said, "I once was young, yes, but now, but now I'm old. old, older"? We don't want to say old, old right? <laughs> but, but I've never, never seen the right mistaken mm-hmm. or is he begging bread. He didn't say I've never seen the person who never made a mistake. He said mm-hmm. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, right? Or right. Seen begging bread, and because we call upon him, you know, if we miss it in some areas, we just go back to him. And it's like, you know, you're still our shepherd. You know, mm-hmm. we, we, exactly. we don't have to want. We can go back to you, and you can still lead us beside the still waters and, exactly. and restore yeah. our soul. And right. that's what he's done. Yeah. And that's yeah. it, right? And just you know, like you guys always say, if you want what I have, do what I, I'm do. doing or what I've mm-hmm. done. You know, right. and, mm-hmm. and I took that. I really wanted to a better life. You know, for mm-hmm. myself, for my family. You know, and just started. You know, tithing consistently and just mm-hmm. being. You know, mm-hmm. a giver. You know, yeah. that I could be a giver, like, because you're Amen. the Amen. example of a giver, mm-hmm. and how blessed you are. Mm-hmm. Blessed, you know, mm-hmm. so I, I'm, I've taken that to heart and really mm-hmm. trying to be that giver mm-hmm. and a consistent tie there. And God is mm-hmm. in my right. my income. I'm, you know, I'm in real estate and. In a time, <laughs> and you know that in and of, of itself was amazing because at six, I think it was like 60, uh, 64, 65 is when I went to uh, study to get my license. When the Lord just put that on me to get your real estate license, you know, so you can, you know, just have that s- another stream of income. Right, that, right. That taught us. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so I did that and then just, uh, and, and and the test was a little difficult for me at that age. You know, it's a lot of material, a lot of things, you know, that we have to study. And mm-hmm. in fact, I was just last night, I took, I had to take the code of ethics test. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my God, this is a lot. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. But, you know, God, God mm-hmm. is amazing. He just helps right. that retain, right. mm-hmm. you know, the understanding. And so anyway, I took the real estate test in about 65, when I was 65. Mm-hmm. 65. The first time I failed it, and I and I was tempted to give up. Mm. You know, too old. Yes, why would mm. you? You don't have to do this. You know, mm. and, and but the Lord told me, nope. Holy Spirit said, no, you're gonna take it again. Amen. Studying, you're gonna keep taking. It you pass it. Yes. 
I did and I took it again and I and I did pass it. So wow. Thankful for that. So <laughs> well, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm loving it because you know, when when you and I I'm glad you brought it up because I don't so many people attack us because they say they're after the tithe, they're after your money, they're trying to do this and that, you know. And so, you know, when I when I introduced tithing to pastor, it it was you know, we didn't have a church then. We didn't have anything, you know, it's something that I had learned. And it's like, you know, you heard my story. I can't marry anybody that is not right. willing right. to put to God tithe. first. When I say tithing and giving, mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. that means you can put God first in every area of your life. If you can get a hold of your money, he can get a hold of your life. Right. And that's what he's done in your life. He's, he, Amen. you know, he grabbed a hold of it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we take the, the attacks of the people. They talk prosperity. You know what? We believe what the word says. If you get right. it, and if you obey God, you know, you follow his example, what he right. tells us to do. And this is right. all we do is just give a back a portion of what he's given us. Exactly. And exactly. honor the Lord with our substance. Right. Right. Thing of our income, you know, just given to God. And I've just love that about you because you did do it. You have followed right. us as we followed Christ. Right, I've right. Again, you've seen us make mistakes. You've seen us mm-hmm. have to get in front of the church mm-hmm. and say, you know, we missed it here or there, mm-hmm. but you know, but because we're, we love God and we want to do what's right. Right. And but right. The, I believe because of the tithing, I think it's the covenant protector. Yes. Yeah. I believe that. I believe that. I know there's teaching out there otherwise, but I, but mm-hmm. I just, it you know and yeah. i'm seeing it i'm seeing god work in that area and and just i mean i admire you guys i might admire what god has done in your life always have mm-hmm. and that and just to well that's a blessing because you've seen oh. the good the bad and the ugly. <laughs> yes so for you to admire because again and i you know those that could no longer you know hang around or stick around you know we love love them all but you know it's not that we're not going to disappoint each other probably along the way mm-hmm, but right. see some things it could be different oh, yeah. mm-hmm. but you know the love of god constrains us it it it, it protects us and it brings us back you know uh, um what is it uh love covers a multitude right you know faults and sins or whatever mm-hmm. things on that mm-hmm. line and then we can stay together and we can make things happen because you know we still know it's the word and it's and it's what God has brought us together. And you can't tell me, you know, after this stage in our life now. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can't tell me that giving to God and serving God and obeying him doesn't work. And it, so that's even amazing. when you were like taking that test mm-hmm. that you could know that, you know, I can do all things through Christ. Yes. And, and yes. Just, the yes. word is, is real in your right. life. It's like, I'm not going to give up because the spirit said, no, don't give up. You, you could have, you could have mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. condemnation. You're not going to mm-hmm. be any less saved or, right. you know, mm-hmm. but the things that he wants to do in our lives, the spirit of God will show us. Yes. I can do it. It's not you. It's me working through you and just right. allow me. Mm-hmm. I want to get some special in your hand. You just slide, slid that thing in there. I don't even know when you was taking on the test. <laughs> God knows, I start seeing like a household, and it's like, what? <laughs> That's so good. And that, like, that too, you know, just in this, in the economy and uh, the way the market is right now, that God is still moving. And yeah. the last house I, I sold, I, I put that out there. Buyers are still buying, buying, mm-hmm. and sellers are still selling. Mm-hmm. You know, my confession. Wow. You know, and that's what I'm believing, and I believe that. Mm-hmm. You know, there's billions of, of real estate agents. Mm-hmm. Lord mm-hmm. told me that, but there's only one gene per night. Right. Right. You know, so mm-hmm. I've people that will come to me just because mm-hmm. of me, you know, and there's mm-hmm. others, you know, they'll go to other agents. There's nothing, there's no competition. There's right. no, that's good. You know, just what's for me is for me. Right, right. That's and beautiful. I know because of my, my giving and what mm-hmm. tithing, and I believe it's all tied together. I really, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. It yeah. is. It is all tied together. And mm-hmm. like you said, there's others in the ministry that have that, but what they also sell real estate, you know, and but mm-hmm. what's yours is yours and, and he supplies your needs and he, he, yes. he just shows you that he's a God that's mm-hmm. more than enough for Jesus. More than enough. Working, Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. And and just to uh uh mm-hmm. just a little side note, the other realtors that we know in the in the ministry, mm-hmm. they're very 
they're unselfish. They're not selfish with their knowledge mm-hmm. and their expertise. They're willing to share and, you know, be there for you. If you have a question, I'm so thankful for that. Cause mm-hmm. you know, people don't want to share nothing with you. They don't want right. to, you know, tell you mm-hmm. nothing. Right, right, right. I'm, I'm like, I admit I'm, I'm, you know, four mm-hmm. years in now, mm-hmm. like 30 years, 20 years, you know, mm-hmm. they are very willing to just, help me along. If I have a question, they're right there. But again, they know they're God, you know, and they're strong and they, mm-hmm. and they get, they love, they love you. And yes. Because, yes. Because every single one of them that are successful are doing just mm-hmm. what you're doing. They're right. giving God the percentage yes. that belongs to him mm-hmm. and they're honoring mm-hmm. the Lord and the, God is honoring them. And right. then we do help one another. You know, we mm-hmm. see mothers greater than ourselves. You exactly. know, it's all the scriptures that come together when we can, you know, work together. And right. so it's, right. it's beautiful to see it. I'm glad to hear that. Mm-hmm. Did you have a good experience with them? I know that, you know, there were awesome people, but you know, when I see you coming up, it's like, wow, mm-hmm. there's enough for just like the church thing, you know, for us as, a, as far as a, a ministry, mm-hmm. you know, there's, there's still many customers, you know, if they right. don't come to Calvary, if they right. don't want to be a part of this ministry, there's there's mm-hmm. other ministries. We it's just true. want to see people grow and, and be established in God mm-hmm. and really know him. Right. You know? Absolutely. So, and we're at a stage in our life, you know, we have tasted and we see. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Woo, yes. That the Lord is good. Yes. You know, yes. So if we can help others that say, I tasted, I tried that. Mm-hmm. It didn't work. Well, can right. you listen to somebody who has gone, you know, years and years and years. Gene, does that sound, is that five decades? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, that far, you know. Right. And, mm-hmm. and, and so, you know, and so there's more to come. You know, when we don't see everything just yet, we know that God is still working in some yes. areas. Yes, he is. He's yes, still he saving, is. he's still delivering, he's still helping people. And if we can do our part, Yes. And I, I think about the, the time, I believe you went to one of the clinics, you went to several of the clinics, but mm-hmm. one of the clinics in particular, I think we asked you to sing, um, I forgot what, what the title of it was. Take but me to you the king. Oh. One night with the king. Yes, yeah, that one, right. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I can't hear you sing that without crying. Why I just like, I, because you just, Yes. You know, it changes everything. It changes everything. One right. night in his presence. Right. Yes. One day in his courts. Yes. Mm-hmm. Change my course. Is it course. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And that's yeah. what you know. Not only can do you live it, but you sing it. Anybody that knows you, you know that you know. A lot of us, you know, we used to sing together a lot, and right, you know, right. we mm-hmm. were the, the the singers with Calvary. In right. The exactly. Mm-hmm. And that, were you with us when we were singing a cappella? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the house. Yeah, Pastor wasn't. You know, we're not going to just get anybody to play for us. Mm-hmm. It's got to be somebody that loves God and loves the Word and and uh, living it. Yes, you know? absolutely, and, and loving it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm so exactly. thankful. So yes. So and like you said, it hasn't been without its challenges, but right. we get through right. them. We don't give up. We don't back up. You know, right. we just get through mm-hmm. them and keep pressing forward. And pressing uh, forward because mm-hmm. God is not through. And uh, there's so many great things. You know, I was just praying this morning as I was sending like my scriptures out. You know, I sent out those scriptures mm-hmm. in the morning and just praying over everybody as I was sending them out because I want the fullness of God to come through. Mm-hmm. The things that God has planned for us, mm-hmm. you know, that we don't miss out, you know. Uh, I don't, who, who sung that song? Um, you doing anything in this season? Don't forget about me or something like that. Um, uh, okay, I think I'm. Whatever, whatever you're doing, I think it's um, Morton. Oh right, was it? Um... I think I um rain? was it the rain? No, that was different, huh? Uh it's it's I think I've twisted the words a little bit. Um it, it, yeah, I I think I got the first part, but in this season, mm-hmm. don't do it without me. 
without me. No, yes. yeah. I, and yeah. I think it was Morton from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and um, but I don't want him to, you know, I want I want to be a part of what he's doing. I want to. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it's not without the fight. You know, right. it's, it's right. like you've got to recognize spiritual mm -hmm. warfare. Mm -hmm. You've got mm -hmm. to know. But like you said, our man of God has taught us, you know, we put on the whole armor. You yes, know, indeed. and if Absolutely. you, you got to protect that brain, the helmet of salvation, mm -hmm. you know, put it on that righteousness, right. the breastplate yes. of righteousness. I got to yes. do what's right. Yes. I got to do the right thing. And the spirit will guide us and show right. us, you know, when we have to put the shield of faith in the mm -hmm. or he'll tell us when to just be quiet and get out the way. You know? Right. So it's Absolutely. Just, it's just Absolutely. How we Amen. I love it. I'm thankful to be here. Thankful to serve you and mm. pastor. And um, wow, it's a blessing. Amen. Well, you're a blessing to us. You be making things happen, Jean, and we appreciate it. Wow. Appreciate you being able to put up the shields. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, as we put up the shields, as yeah. Yeah. You know, because, you know, it's about it's about the Lord. And it is. And, um, and those mm -hmm. that we can help get into the kingdom, that's what it's, it's all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. right? Absolutely. And keeping yeah. our eyes on, 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 on him, on, on the Lord, you know, and not on man. That's so important is that we not focus on individuals. And I'm trying my best. Sometimes I fall short of that. But mm -hmm. that's what I strive to do. Driving yeah, to just yeah. keep my eyes focused on him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, the Lord has done beautiful things in your life and uh, he's continually proven himself. Yes. So um, did you have, uh, we always ask, you know, as our conversation starts to come to an end, because I don't want you something specifically you wanted to share. I want you to be mm -hmm. able to do that. Um, but what I would say, what would you want to pass on uh, to the audience? You know, I also wanted to ask, you know, what would what would you say would be your biggest challenge? And you might have hit that just a little bit. What would mm -hmm. be your biggest challenge you face when getting started in ministry and business, you know, in whichever area you want to jump in? So I can I, I know I've twisted it a little bit. So I got two questions. <laughs> what is the biggest challenge you face? And then tell us a tip that you want to leave uh, with our audience. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> um, you can skip one of them if you don't want to. You can just hit whatever way you want to go with that. I think I'll just stick with what I what I just said towards okay. the end is that because I I do I get obstacles and mm -hmm. blocks and things like that before mm -hmm. me, but I I try to just ignore them and just focus on on God. Just let you know uh, let him take control of the situation and just, you know, yeah. kind of turn my head to it. Sometimes my, it keeps coming back, keeps coming back, but mm -hmm. I'm just, I just try to stay focused on, on the Lord. And, mm -hmm. you know, just my ability to, cause people ask, I've had people ask me, how you just, how you stay at Calvary? Why you stay at Calvary so long? You know, mm -hmm. oh, because you related. No, it's not because mm -hmm. I relate. It's because I know without a doubt mm -hmm. that God has called me there, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning, when I received salvation, when Pastor ministered to me, mm -hmm. even though you know we're related, mm -hmm. that brought a different kind of connection. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, when 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 he ministered that mm -hmm. salvation to me, and then mm -hmm. later on becoming a member, and 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 let me say, in the beginning, I really didn't want to. I was so used to my Baptist church, sure, you know, my friends, mm -hmm. you know, and how they were doing things. I, when when my ex-husband went to Calvary, mm -hmm. he wanted something different. He wasn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. and he went, and that's how I got there. Cause I was, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's powerful. I'm, I like that church. And mm -hmm. we came home the first, you know, we were there the first day mm -hmm. and uh, first Sunday that pastor, you guys opened. And mm -hmm. at that time, the first service, I wasn't a member. Okay. I went mm -hmm. home and I, I was there and I went mm -hmm. home and I was talking about it and I was so excited about it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. and and wow, that sounded like something. But but it was different though. And I did mm -hmm. say that. I said it was mm -hmm. different. Not like mm -hmm. Baptist Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. I said I said he teaches, you know, from mm -hmm. the Bible, you know. Mm -hmm. And he said, Well, it sounds like my kind of church. Yeah. You know, I sound like something I want to check out. So he did. Mm -hmm. And then 
back the next week with him. And then the next week is when I joined and because he joined. Okay. He, he joined and we all joined, you know, the babies there. So we mm -hmm. three Sundays in, you know, from mm -hmm. the beginning when, mm -hmm. when we joined. And uh, so I just, from that moment, mm -hmm. when God took me from the Baptist church to Calvary, mm -hmm. that's, it was, that was it, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I grew to love the word and mm -hmm. it was different, but it was so life changing. Yeah. And, Oh, I can't even go back. Mm -hmm. really different now to go back to the Baptist because sometimes mm -hmm. they have homecoming and my mom will mm -hmm. ask, oh, well, 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 she can freak over it. Mm -hmm. And so when I went and uh, a few times with her and it was, it was the same, it was like the same way I mm -hmm. left it out mm -hmm. 30 something, 40 years later. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Different people maybe. But you know, everything seems the same. So I'm like, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, and I'm not putting down right, right. All because I love my Baptist roots. <laughs> right, right. The roots. Yeah. You can never mm -hmm. you know forget. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, right. Never forget that. And my right. and friends are and I still have friends, close friends there. Mm -hmm. And we mm -hmm. meet sometimes to go to lunch and and those are, it's like they were family, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll never forget. Sure. It was sure. a big part of my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that was, was different. And then it yeah. changed my life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when you, when we, when, when Phil first ministered to you, yeah, like you said, it was like 72. It was 72. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so the church didn't start till 80. So right. mm -hmm. all, you know, yeah. uh, going there. Cause you know, my, my thing was whoever, uh, I marry, you know, I'm going to go to his church, you know, so that was different for me coming from my background. But, uh, you know, we learned some things. We learned some things to do and we learned some things what not to do, you know, and but we love the people. Oh, my God. Yes. Talk about CL Cummings, you know, yes. certain things that he yes. He taught us and things that he learned and was able to go to his home going service. It was very mm -hmm special because he was a great man, not perfect, you know, uh, just like right. anybody else, you know, and then, you know, then uh, Reverend Bernardo took over after that, mm -hmm. you know, so he was our pastor when we left uh, uh, our Baptist experience at Macedonia, mm -hmm. uh, but the mother office and the different yeah. the people were our family, the Dumases and the, yes. you know, they, they love God, you know, the Carlisles, you know, it just was, um, it was God. It was what he wanted to do, but we yeah. had to obey God. Mm -hmm. so we got spirit filled. And then that was a kind of clincher, kind of like, we don't do that here. And it's like, okay, we're not going to be rebellious. Right. The pastors yeah. always said, I would still be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would still be mm -hmm. there. Then he took me out. <laughs> right. Know? But he had yeah. to do what God called him to do. Yeah, to do what God called me to do. Yeah. And that's funny because it's, even though I was at Union Baptist and there was Macedonia's New Testament, we all kind of intermingled. Yeah, you know? we did. Yeah. And, um, we're all like a big family, you know, right. for those churches. I, I can remember as a child going to Macedonia and Sister Lester, you know, she was the mother. Yeah, Mother Lester. Church mother. And you better not be talking. She didn't care where church you was from or who you were child you were mm -hmm. but we respected that and so so did our parents you know mm -hmm. that was so, so key to mm -hmm. them what they put into us also yeah. right. as children you know right it attributes to who and what we are today right oh my god and Philip Phil talks about you know things he learned how mother 